They came early and in droves. Across the country, voter turnout was huge, as Americans, polarised by such a bitter, divisive campaign, resolved to have their say. I hope that uh, he will clean things up and definitely uh, hashtag uh, drain the swamp. I can't stand Donald Trump. He's an idiot. Some reports said a record number of Latino Americans turned out to vote, a significant number of them mobilising against Donald Trump. In New York, the billionaire was jeered as he arrived to vote with his wife Melania. For many, the alternative was equally unappealing. They're equally bad, like they say. Yeah, Hillary is corrupt, there's no question about that. And uh, <laughs> Trump is crazy, there's no question about that. Donald Trump appeared as unshakable as ever. Today is our Independence Day. Today, the American working class is going to strike back, finally. Hillary Clinton's last campaign event was a commercial filmed on the plane home to New York, where she and her staff, husband Bill, and rock star John Bon Jovi froze like statues to urge Americans to get out and vote. And we're good! The Democratic nominee was greeted by cheers and congratulations as she arrived to vote in New York. So many people are counting on the outcome of this election, what it means for our country, and I'll do the very best I can if I'm fortunate enough to, to win today. But not long after polling stations closed, it soon became clear it would be the tightest election since the Florida recount of the election of 2000. Polls are closed now in seven battleground states, and we can't project a winner in any of them. As the count continued beyond midnight, Donald Trump had won at least 232 of the necessary 270 electoral college votes for victory, and crucially the key swing states of Florida, Ohio and North Carolina. His campaign team was jubilant. At Democrat headquarters, there were tears. Crucially, Donald Trump has managed to win over many rural and white constituencies that traditionally voted Democrat. That now has him on the verge of winning the presidency. Ann Barker, ABC News.